Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn about checkboxes in uh, Qt. So let's get started. First of all, I have uh, made the sample uh, project, which is empty for now. And uh, first of all, I'm going to go to mainwindow.ui. And in here, I'm going to uh, add a checkbox here. Okay. So this is a checkbox and as the name suggests, you can use checkbox to, uh, you know, check something. For example, uh, you can ask the user uh, about uh, his opinion, if he likes something or not, for example, whose answer is true or false. Okay. So if the answer is true, he can check it. And if the answer is uh, false, he can uncheck it. Right. So for example, we want to ask the user, do you like apples? And uh, then let's take a push button also. So just write push button here and drag and drop here. Okay. And in here we can just uh, change it to check. Okay. So when we click or press this button, we want to check which option the user has selected. Okay, so what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to right click, go to slots for the push button, and I'm going to select clicked option here and click OK. And in here, first of all, uh, let's say what we want to do is we want to first of all check if the checkbox is checked or not, right? So we can just write UI and then uh, just ask for the checkbox. So just uh, take the checkbox and then just uh, use the method called is checked. Okay, this method will return a Boolean value. So you can check if the checkbox is checked or not. Okay, so we will use if condition here. And if the checkbox is checked, we want to display some message. Right. So for example, uh, let's uh, add a message uh, include message class include. So just write uh, hash include Q message box. OK, so just add here Q message box. Just add this one. Right. So this will allow us to use a message box. So I'm going to use message box and I will just use information for now. First argument is uh, the parent. Second argument is the title. So for example, title itself. And the third argument is uh, the message. Okay, so uh, you can just print some message. You can just say yes, uh, user likes apples, for example, right? And if the checkbox is unchecked in that condition we can just use else and then in this condition we want to show that no the user don't like apples right so let's see uh, if this works or not right so let's run the app and let's see what happens so for now uh, when the app is going to run we will see it will be unchecked. So by default, it will be unchecked, right? So you can see the checkbox is unchecked. And when we press this check button, it says no user do not like apples, right? And when this uh, checkbox is checked, it will say yes, user like apples, right? Now there is other way of uh, using this checkbox. So for example, you don't want a push button to uh, you know press and then check the answer you want that at the same time when a user presses the check box you want to show some message so how you can do this so once again we will go to uh, this uh, main window.ui file and right click on our um, check box and we can add a slot to it and this time here we will uh, choose some slot right so what we can choose here is the state change uh, method here so just choose uh, this method which says state changed okay and then click okay and then you can just uh, copy and paste this code 
here in the state change so as soon as you press or change the state of the checkbox it will uh, you know give you the state and then on the basis of state you can uh, just uh, you know display some messages here and this time you don't even need to check uh, using this is checked method because this argument here will give you the state of your checkbox so you can just use arg1 here itself right and let's run our app and let's see what happens so just run it and when it runs we will see the result how it works so for example i'm going to check this checkbox right so check it and it gives me this message right that yes user like apples and when i uncheck it it says the other message to me right now if you want to uh, you know by default when you run the app and you want to check your checkbox using some code how you can do it so let's say we want to uh, you know check the checkbox by some code what we can do is we can go in the constructor here and uh, we can just use UI and then uh, use our checkbox and then we can use a method called set checked okay so set checked method it takes a boolean value so if you uh, write true here then uh, your uh, checkbox will be checked when uh, you will run your app so let's see whether it's true or not so let's build the program and let's run it and you can see it shows uh, this message because this code is called in the constructor so you can click ok and you can see by default your checkbox is checked right so this is due to this code ok and if you want to uncheck this you can make it false something like this okay so in this way you can use checkboxes in uh, qt i hope you've enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now